afternoon people of god i hope you guys are doing well for it's by the grace of god that you are still alive god is amazing god is great god loves you you see the word of god is the everlasting light uh, those who practice the righteousness which comes from christ are born of god and we serve a righteous god now i'm going to talk about walking in the light now what does this what light am i referring to i'm referring to the everlasting light which comes from the word of god you know from the word of god true love true peace true happiness true joy is found there but in the world is temporary you know we are to be we are out to be lovers of god and not lovers of pleasure. We are to be lovers of God and not pleasure. We are to obey the word of God. Stand firm for the word of God. Preach the word of God. So now, I'm going to read from Ephesians 5 verse 8. Ephesians 5 verse 8. It says, Walk in the light. For you were once darkness but now you are light in the lord walk as children of light for the fruit for the fruit for the fruit of the spirit is all goodness righteousness and truth you see while we were still sinners you know god so loved the world that he sent his only begotten son Jesus Christ to die for us and pay the price for our sins that we will be made right with God. It is by God's grace and love and mercy that we are now in the light, meaning that we are the children of the Most High God, serving God. You know, God loves you, God cares about you, God protects you. Fear no one but fear God. The fear of the Lord is abstaining from all forms of evil and evil doings. So stay firm in the word of God. You know, we are to wear the armor of God, the helmet of salvation, the, breast, the breastplate of righteousness, the shoes of peace, the belt of truth, and the shield of faith, and the sword of the Spirit, which is the word of God. The word of God is sharper than any tool that we faced sword. God gave us a spirit, a spirit not of fear, but of love and, uh, and of sound mind and self-control and power. Stand firm, for, stand firm for the word of God. Live for God. Read your Bible and pray. I'll see you guys on the next time.